guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. So today we're going to be making a cake. As you can see, preparing for a cake making video is actually so much more effort than preparing for a makeup video. I'm just going to put that out there. This, this has stressed me out a little, just a little bit, but hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Rhea Patel. Thank you so much for putting your post notifications on. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. So today we're actually going to be making a coconut cake. I've got the recipe from How to Cake It. Oh my god, I love Yolanda's videos. They're so good. I really, really do love her videos. They're so, so interesting and I've been obsessed like just watching every single video. We're gonna follow her coconut cake recipe and I'm also gonna try and uh, do an Italian meringue buttercream and do a little bit of decoration. It's a layered cake basically and I've never really done this. I used to love baking cakes before but haven't done it in years so we're gonna try today. I've been craving this cake and craving to make a cake as well for quite a while now so I thought why not film it and yeah I think we'll just jump straight into it I'm not gonna talk too much I'm not gonna really talk about the measurements maybe sometimes but I'll link her video and her recipe in the info box if you guys want to try this it's all on there and this is what I followed so I've got my flour here we're gonna be adding the desiccated coconut right here and we're gonna put some baking powder just to steep just two steep teaspoons. What on earth am I saying? Two teeps, two teaspoons. Wow, that was so much effort. Um, okay, we're just gonna sift that all together. Please mind the way I look. I literally just came from work. Oh, oh, it's already starting the mess. Okay, if I look messy, just ignore me. I already feel like I've got flour on my face. So that's mixed. We're gonna put that to the side. Next, you're gonna want to get out your mixer just really convenient my mum actually got this so we are going to put our room temperature butter in the bowl Let me just put that there I'm already being very bad at this okay, let's see. we're gonna put our sugar Whoops, I know. And then we've got to put our vanilla. I'm using Madagascan vanilla extract. Doesn't really smell that great, but it's okay. So we're going to put two teaspoons of this. Okay, I'm not an expert, I'm not an expert. Maybe one day, but today we're not. This could go horribly wrong. I'm just uh, scraping the edges so that gets mixed as well. So I'm just making sure to get all of this stuff out. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is slowly add our eggs in. We've got four normal eggs, so I'm going to do half of each. I'm already making a mess. And we've got four egg whites, and we're just going to do half of each of those. And the next step is to slowly add our flour mixture and the coconut milk. I've literally just used a can. I honestly don't know if I have enough, but like I said, I'm really awful with following a recipe, but we'll see if this is going to work. So we're going to add a little bit of... I've buttered my 8 inch pans, I've got 3 of these so we're just going to put them in here. I'm trying to 
I'm just going to wing it. I've got batter all over my fingers, all over on the floor. Don't worry, you don't see it, guys. Okay, I think that's evenly distributed. And we're gonna put this in the oven with, I think I put 170 degrees and we're gonna keep it in there for like 50 minutes. All right guys, I have changed and we've got our cakes ready. Now they do look a bit messy because I've scraped the top layer off. It was a bit like hard. Um, I don't know how I feel about the cake, but I just have to like try it when it's all done. Um, but it's definitely cooked. I put a toothpick in it's all dry. I'm actually made this Italian meringue and I'm so like surprised that it worked because oh my god this was such a hassle but it's like very thick it's just it just tastes so nice as well. I, I'm actually so proud of myself that I did this but yeah it's really yummy. Look at that. Yummy yummy. So we're just gonna like fill the cake in between with this stuff. The cake is like has cooled down as well so I'm just gonna fill I don't want to put too much because it is kind of sweet and I don't want my cake to be overly kind of sweet so we're gonna put the second layer on let's just hope this don't break So this is kind of like a vanilla flavor coconut cake. I'm gonna put some chocolate on the top. Final layer, I'm gonna do this one upside down because the top layer is actually really flat. I mean, is it that bad? Is it? I don't know, let's just cover this now. I don't know if this bit's gonna work because I wanna try and make it like smooth. bear with me just bear it's hard like I don't know why I'm so nervous because I want this to turn out good I've been thinking about this like the whole week like I just wanted to try and make a nice cake for once So I've done some like chocolate ganache, to be honest I don't know if this is going to work but we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't drip too much, I need to put this in the fridge ASAP. This is my first time, I mean it's not perfect, it really isn't, like the ganache is too liquidy but we're just going to put this all over here. gonna smooth this out if I can without mixing it with the cream no I 
Okay. I guess it's just gonna stay like that. Brushed um, Ferrero Rocher on the top. I guess this is just a messy cake. <laughs> Some more for This is actually making me nervous. It's actually making me nervous because I want to put this in the fridge ASAP. Right, I'm going to quickly put this in the fridge for a bit, clean my mess up, and we'll see the final look. Alright guys, this is the final look. I mean, for my first time. I got the shape alright, but it's a bit messy. My drips aren't really drips. Props to people who actually do really nice cakes. We need to see if this is yummy. I'm actually quite nervous. I can see it. Oh. I can see it drooping because I didn't put it in the fridge long enough. <laughs> okay, time for the truth. Meh. It just looks like a slobbery mess. No. I don't see no lines. I think this was a fail, guys. But, but, let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna try this. At least my cake's standing up. I don't know. Do you wanna try this? Sure. Go on. Okay, I'm gonna get on to try it. I don't know, I don't like it. Oh Lord. I can definitely taste the coconut, but like, the cake tastes like undercooked. But it is cooked. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like it? Okay, well, I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. I mean, more practice will make it perfect. I think next time I should make a chocolate cake, because I've done good chocolate cakes in the past. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though to me it was a fail, like, I tried. The only thing I'm really proud of is my meringue buttercream. That's actually really nice, so I did that on point. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!